Hey guys, this is Tatsuo. Today I'll talk about the map of upcoming region Fontaine. Genshin Impact officially announces a new map feature that will arrive in the next major update which is expected to drop in the second half of August. Since the introduction of the summer region, Hoyovers has been adding new underground parts of the map to the world of Teyvat. These dungeon-like locations can often be confusing and players often get lost due to the multiple pathways which can cause frustration during one of the most exciting activities in the game which is exploration. However, according to a recent official announcement, Hoyovers has plans to further improve the way the in-game map works. An official Genshin Impact announcement has revealed a brand new map function that will arrive in the first Fontaine update. According to a Reddit post, Genshin Impact Update 4.0 will introduce a multi-layered map feature which will allow players to gain more concise details about new and unlocked regions. Travelers will be able to switch across multiple layers of the map which will allow them to get a better overall feeling of their surroundings. This improvement got many players excited since it could also be one of Hoyover's ways to say that the upcoming Fontaine region will be filled with underground locations. The same announcement also mentions that the developer will also improve the overall quest system experience. After Genshin Impact Update 3.8 ends, players will automatically start tracking their next commission quest based on the distance and other relevant factors after completing the current quest. The next major update will also tackle one of the most frustrating in-game issues which are prerequisite quests. Even though the current system names the prerequisite quests that players need to finish, it's often very hard to find these quests in the menu or on the game map. This new feature will efficiently redirect travelers from one quest to another until they finish all of their quests and can catch up to Genshin Impact's main storyline. So that's all for today. You all can leave your thoughts in comments section. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful.